All right, so this thing got here pretty fast. Let's open this up. No seals broke. You have to check these seals right here. Check this seal right here. You check over there. So. On a website, FedEx is cheaper than UPS. But I remember about maybe a couple years ago, they didn't charge shipping or tax. So the only thing they had for the 8.6 blackout, it only came in 16 inch. So I'm pretty sure later on they're gonna bring some different sizes out. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do different sizes, a smaller size. Cause when you Google 8.6, they say the best barrel length is like 12 and a half or 12.1. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna have more, but I wanted to get something now and I got a lot of 16. So I'm gonna start with the 16. We can compare it to 308, 556, uh, 65 Creedmoor, not Creedmoor, 65 Grendel. Yeah, I got a lot of 16 inches. So I ain't tripping about that, but I went with the side charging. Do look like it's a look, uh, let's see something. See, they gotta start covering these because look at this right here. I'm not gonna really trip about that one, but shit, the stuff is getting thrown around. And they need to kind of make sure it's like this, but I know that's hard. It probably get packaged like this, but you know, getting tossed around. They just need to put something on top of that because I'm pretty sure that's what that was. So not too bad but it is you know some discoloration and i'm pretty sure it went through that box rear charging and side charging so i went rear rear charging cost a little more than side so probably about a maybe 20 25 difference so it bowed up down here like the 308s so that's how all the a ar10s do got the flat top on it that's a big barrel 8.6 blackout one and three twists so soon as um, I dropped my last video that next day cuz I seen a video on YouTube saying that they was gonna drop it I didn't know if they was gonna drop it in um, complete rifle or were they just doing uppers Either way was fine with me, but um, I'm gonna probably just keep this. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get a lower for this because I still need to get a lower. I'm still missing two AR-10 lowers anyway. So, and I checked the prices on this ammo. They cheap as I'm seeing so far is two dollars around. So I might just keep them. Um, just have to swap it out. But yeah, we're going to take off one of the lowers, uh, one of the other ones, and we're going to put this on there and see how it match up with. All right, so we got everything together, and the Bear Creek Arsenal uppers, the AR-10 uppers, match pretty good with these uh, arrow precision lowers. On their website, they say uh, use a D, what is it, DPMS, something like that, but... Um, I think they match up good with these arrow position. That's why I always go with these. They not the cheapest, like 150, maybe 200. Um, that's what I'm waiting on now to find some sales on those. I've seen that Anderson make an AR-10 lower, but uh, I never seen one in person, but I seen that. But I wanna stick with these because they fit, uh, fit real good. 16 inch right here, 8.6 blackout. We just put a vertical grip on there. It's a 16 inch. No, I ain't gonna do no bipod or none of that stuff. I'm not sure. I ordered a scope for this, but I think I want a red dot on the 16s. Um, I took that from the 308 16 just to see what it's gonna look like because I got four red dots coming and one scope. So I just play around with it, but I think I should have waited on the scope. Uh, but I can always go buy something else. So. 
but I'll put the scope on something else and take one of these newer red dots and uh, use that because I want to put this back on the 308. Some weight, you can tell it ain't no AR-15 super jack. I got subs, but it ain't no purpose of shooting no subs without my can. So that's the next step. We got to see how long of a process that is. I want to shoot it before that. That's why I got to find supers, but everything that uh, that I keep going to keep producing the subs first. Two dollars around is the cheapest I'm seeing so far. Once the gun get more popular, not the gun, the caliber. I think they've been out for about a year now. Maybe maybe two years almost. I think the 8.6 came out. But pretty much everything I've seen, if you ain't getting it from Q, you're going to pay some money for it. So I think Q the only one that's doing pistols. But I'm pretty sure Bear Creek probably will. They probably going to see how this play out. And, uh, and they probably will do something like a 12, maybe 14. I think they should have just gone to do the 12 and a half. If they do, I'm going to definitely get it.
motivation to see your movement is in effect. And I fucking love that shit. Let's get it.